Well, Miami could pop the champagne bottles. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Drop It Down's Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today I'm going to talk about today's AFC showdown as you had the Buffalo Bills beating the Kansas City Chiefs 30 to 21. Um, before I get into this video, man, big thanks to my channel donors. Um, if you want to be a channel donor, drop a dollar on the Cash App. That information is down in the description box. Also, um, if you want to follow me on social media, I co-host the Sports Talk Radio Show every Sunday. All that information is down in the description box. Um, if you're a subscriber to the channel, greatly appreciate the love and support. Excuse me. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe, uh, hit the bell notification button, like the video, and share it with your folks. Well, Buffalo did it in the regular season again. Uh, I think this is like the third year in a row that Buffalo beat Kansas City in the regular season, uh, which is the reason I picked Buffalo to win this game, man. Um, look, but Josh Allen was Superman out there today. Um, he made the throws. He ran. He led the team. He had one stupid interception he threw. But besides that, man, he was the leading rusher. And like I said, he threw the ball. Um, he took over this game. And that decision at the end actually won them the game. Because honestly, if they kick a field goal there, um, you know, make it. Or if they go for it and don't get it, I think Kansas City wins this game. I think if Kansas City would have came down got a field goal if they needed one, I think they would have got a touchdown if they was down five. But – for them to have the guts to go for it and then josh allen like i see like just shot out of there like superman and got into the end zone man uh and then made the extra point it was up nine and just like tony Romo on the broadcast everybody's still sitting like you show this game over yet because you know kansas city been known to pull some stuff out the head man but um you know, big win for Buffalo, man. Big win. You know, um, they are ha they're like a, I think a game now behind uh, Kansas City for home field in the AFC. You know, but um, the thing is, can you do it in the playoffs? Like, I even seen Travis Kelsey like kind of clapping a little bit, like to say, "All right, y'all got us," but y'all y'all know we're gonna see y'all again. <laughs> and when y'all see us again, y'all already know what time it is. Like, look, I'm sorry, they meet in the playoffs. My money on Kansas City. Like, until Buffalo could beat them in the playoff, I'm not going to assume they will. Um, but they've done a good job getting them in the regular season, and they did it again tonight, yo. Um, like I said, Josh Allen was sensational, man. And for Kansas City, I mean, hey, I mean, you ain't going to go undefeated. <laughs> like, you going to lose to somebody. You know, they had a valid effort. They didn't get blown out of the place. You knew it was going to be a good game. Um you know, uh, they just lost. They just fell short. You know, they got, I think they got Pacheco coming back next week, though Kareem Hunt has filled in admirably for him. But, you know, it, it draws the question. I'll be honest, man. I don't think we're going to see another NFL team go undefeated, man. Like, well, now we got an extra game for one. And for two, it's just so much parity in this league that, I don't think we're going to see it. You know, um, I could be wrong. Um, I felt like, and I know I can't prove it, but I always felt like you will eventually see a 16 beat a one. And now we done seen it twice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I felt like, look, man, in basketball, you could get a, you, somebody could get hurt. Somebody could roll an ankle or, or a team could get hot, especially now with NIL and transfer portal. It's going to be a little more common now. You know, you may not see a lot of it, of 16s beating one, but I bet you you see a lot more competitive games. It ain't just an automatic 40-point blowout like it used to be. And in the NFL, man, that Patriots team, you know, I mean, they had Randy Moss. They had a, basically a prime Randy Moss, man. And they had, like, some real good veterans defensively with the the Brewskis and the Junior Seahawks, God rest his soul, um, Mike Vrabel and those guys, man, uh, Santi Samuel, like that's to me the closest you have when you got the greatest quarterback and the greatest coach on the same team in their prime with at the time, the greatest weapon in the sport and a really legit defense. I mean, 
that's kind of, and they didn't get it done. They lost to the Giants. So I just don't think we're going to see it, man. I, I just don't think we're going to see a team go 17 and 0 and then go through the playoffs and go undefeated and win a Super Bowl. I don't think it's going to happen, man. But we'll see. But good win for Buffalo, yo. Um, but with that being said, man, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly Eagles, fly.